welcome back to my little channel now lately we have been hearing a lot about police violence in america and in all fairness it does happen and when it does happen it is a problem but too often the story is that police violence only happens to a certain part of the american society that certain part is of a certain skin color now don't get me wrong there are examples of police violence against people with a skin color funny enough the latest story that has been pushed as an example of violence of the police is um, a bad example after all the guy was staking out a house or at least he wasn't to be inside of the house where he was but be that as it may it wasn't police violence because the person doing the actual killing though maybe a police officer wasn't on duty but there are too many signs of police violence not just against white people or black people the fact that it happens at all should be an issue unfortunately the media only seems to cover police violence against black people and therefore black people seem to believe that interaction with the police is a deadly endeavor which I can understand they believe after all they've been made to be afraid time and time and time again but unfortunately there are also stories of white people being shot by the police now don't get me wrong I say unfortunately all of these cases are unfortunately but why do I say unfortunately there are also white ones okay not the best wording i'll admit but i'm not going to take it out because this is what i'm going to try to discuss with you and in all fairness if you disagree let me know we shouldn't look at whether the victims are white or black or any other color under the rainbow i don't give a fuck. what we should look at is whether it is a justified shooting and it can only be a justified shooting when the police officer himself is in fear of his life. If that's not the case, I'm going to stipulate it's not a justified shooting. And the police officer should therefore be held accountable, just like each and every one of us when we shoot someone. Now, obviously, there are things that we can keep in mind. I mean, yeah, the guy was unarmed. Yeah, but he looked like he was pulling a gun. He was actually trying to pretend that he was pulling a gun. In, in cases of like that, I can understand the police officer shooting because there is no real threat, but the police officer doesn't know that. So, yeah, there's always room for discussion. But a dude with his hands up, sitting on the floor, yeah, he shouldn't be shot. A guy sitting behind the steering wheel of his car with his hands on the steering wheel shouldn't be shot. Now, is he actually driving towards the police officer at that point in time? Yeah, sure. Defend yourself. Are you standing next to the driver in the street? Then he shouldn't be shot. Unfortunately, because the story keeps being pushed that it's a black and white thing, we ignore all the white victims. Don't get me wrong, we shouldn't ignore the black victims either. We shouldn't ignore any of the victims. But why is a certain group constantly protected, so to speak? And they're not being protected because they're shot dead. But the media makes a huge uproar when a person of color i hate that phrase but okay people use it when a person of color gets shot which is terrible but we pretend there's nothing going on when anyone but a person of color gets shot 
what the hell is wrong with our society? Preferably, no one would get shot. Oh well, this is my little rant. Let me know what you think. Uh, share and like if you feel so inclined. But criticism, as always, is more than welcome. I do like to hear what you think. And I hope to see you all next time.